number 31 why does kevlar why is a kevlar rope lighter and stronger than steel rope so you can see that this hydrogen is joined to a nitrogen so there is a chance of hydrogen bonding okay. and if you imagine another strand of kevlar just above and we align just one of them the partial positive hydrogen can be aligned with the lone pairs on the oxygen here and we repeat this pattern and all that you can see that they actually hold together quite tightly due to the strong hydrogen bonds and the idea that they tell us that it's lighter it just it means that we will expect the mass per unit in Kevlar to be lower than mass per steel rope. Kevlar has no permanent dipole. It does have hydrogen bonding. So that is an indication that it has permanent dipole or more than a permanent dipole already. So 3 is out. Which of the following can be act as a bronsted lowry acid? It means that which of them can donate a proton? For the first one, hydronium ion, H3O+, can, if we draw the equilibrium, we can see that it can lose a H+, and H form H2O. So it is acting as an acid in this case. I'll explain number 2 and number 3 together. Water can act as an acid if it reacts with a weaker as uh, a base for example ammonia so in this case the water donates a proton to form NH4 plus and then OH minus so water in this case is acting like an acid on the other side of the equation NH4 plus if you look in the reverse direction NH4 plus can donate a proton to OH minus to form NH3 and water so NH4 plus is acting as can act as a uh, bronsted lowry acid also. So all three can act as a bronsted lowry acid. Number 33, which one governs the rate of a forward reaction? First statement is correct. Activation energy, the higher your activation energy, the slower your reaction will be. Okay, so the one on the left, will be slower than the one on the right. The enthalpy change doesn't affect the speed. So for example, compare these two, they have the same enthalpy change. But what affects the speed, how fast this one goes to the other side, is the activation energy has to overcome, not the enthalpy change. Equilibrium constant is simply a reflection of the ratio of the products and reactants uh, during equilibrium. So it doesn't affect the forward reaction rate. Thirty-four. Which statement concerning the group two are correct? Reactivity increases as you go down the group because there's one more shell. It's easier to lose the electron. So statement one is correct. Oxidation number exhibited in the compounds is plus 2. They form Mg2+, Ca2+, Br, uh, Ba2+. So that's correct. Strong heating, the nitrates give off both oxygen gas and nitrogen dioxide. So statement 3 is wrong. Thirty five. Chlorine is a gas. Bromine is a liquid, iodine is solid under room conditions. What causes these differences in their volatility? Means the boiling point. The bond energy, the bond energy is to break up the atom or break up the molecule into atoms. This one affects reactivity. So not doesn't affect the intermolecular attraction. Van der Waals forces. Iodine has a stronger van der Waals force than chlorine and bromine because it has the most number of electrons so number of electrons affects the volatility and that affects the van der Waals forces
36 which statement for the production of the Haber process or the Haber process is correct so nitrogen hydrogen we get ammonia the equilibrium Kp increases with pressure equilibrium constant equilibrium uh, Kp Kc is affected by temperature uh, not pressure as the temperature increase the Kc for the Ford reaction becomes smaller okay we can visualize this reaction what is important is we must know is exothermic if it's exothermic when the temperature increases the equilibrium will shift left so shifting left we will have a decrease in ammonia and an increase in your nitrogen and hydrogen so overall small on top gets smaller bottom gets bigger your kc overall will be decreasing okay but we have to know that it's exothermic otherwise we can't establish the direction the process is carried out under these conditions this is your recall uh, you rec need to recall these conditions for Haber process anyway if you establish statement one to be wrong two and three must be correct Which statements about alkenes are correct? Cracking of alkenes, bigger alkenes give us alkenes, that's true. We use alkenes to polymerize, like your ethene will become polyethene, true also. Compared to alkenes, they are actually more reactive towards electrophile, not less reactive. Because your alkenes have a high electron density, they will attract electrophiles uh, more readily. So statement 3 is wrong. Thirty-eight. Which one can we use as a fire extinguisher? You can recall from your notes that one is a suitable extinguisher. If not, we can reason out. For number two, this is a long chain halogen alkene. Right? You, you don't expect it to be volatile enough. So it will not really act as a good um, fire extinguisher we need it to be a uh, gaseous form to smother the flame HCl HCl is hydrogen chloride is acidic in one way and second thing in it dissolves readily when there is water so it will lose its effect if you try to use it as a fire extinguisher because if it touches water or anything it should have become hydrochloric acid and it's gone before we can can deploy it 39 what can be produced during terminating uh, step of propane so I'll use propane as the radicals we can take uh, hydrogen from the last carbon so we have the uh, unpaired electron here we can take the hydrogen from the middle carbon Hi unpaired electron is here uh, label them as A and B more, uh, radicals how do we get radical uh, the molecule 1 molecule 1 is formed when the tail end of, of one radical is joined to the middle of another radical it's like an A and a B forming so this is possible Molecule 2 is formed by a radical with center carbon joined to a radical in the center carbon. So it's like two of the B versions joining together. That's also possible. 3. There's no combinations of A or B that can give us a structure of 3. So that is out. this structure should be soluble in water because we have all this hydroxy group that can form hydrogen bonds with water it decolorizes bromine rapidly we have a CC double bond here 
so it does decolorize bromine it reduces phalanx reagent there's no aldehyde groups here so it will not be able to react with phalanx reagent so only one and two are correct